what's going on guys welcome back to the channel the pacific is here we're here with part two as they call it and that's how they named <laughs> that's how they decided to name the um the episodes okay part one part two <laughs> it's weird but it, that's what it is but anyways guys i was severely wrong <laughs> about what this thing was going to be about i said it in the last intro what i thought it was going to be about um but it's not about it it's basically about um the americans going up against the um the japanese in the pacific islands after the bombing of pearl arbor um so first part was very intense to say the least I thought we would have gotten a little bit more training, like what we got in Band of Brothers, but that's not how they started. It's just thrown into the war, kind of showing you all these young kids, you know what I'm saying, that <clears throat> was called, you know, in or drafted or whatever, or some that wanted to go, couldn't go because he had a murmur in his heart. And you can't, like, you can't have a heart problem. I know how disappointing that can be, and I totally understand because... When it comes on to the the um, when it comes on to how in in America how a lot of people grow their kids and you're talking about the baby the baby boomers and stuff like that like they're coming from that era that that World War Two world you know what I'm saying that World War Two era um, where you know, these kids are growing up and they grow up in military families. They're third, fourth generation, fifth generation going into the army. And they feel like they have this obligation to go. So I totally understand where he's coming from. When you don't get, it's like you don't get to fight for your country. You feel like you're letting down your entire family. And, you know, and that, that added pressure, you know, uh, so them going there i mean the first death the first death you know what i'm saying before they even encounter the enemy the first death it was friendly fire which <laughs> you know when you look at it sometimes you're like you're like are you kidding me man you know but it does happen it does happen you know people are jumpy it's war you know what i mean so we're gonna jump into this man um part two Let's go watch this, man. I will see you guys for the review. All right. The Pacific Part 2 or Episode 2, whatever you want to call it. This HBO mini series. Second episode, definitely better than the first. Um, Second episode, we got to see a lot more fighting, um, a lot more of the war. They're finally off of Guadalcanal. Um, they're heroes back home, you know. But as I said, I keep asking why. You know what I'm saying? Like, the way how the Japanese f fight. Why do they fight like that? Like, what do they think? They can dodge bullets? I don't understand why they do that. Like, it's the... I mean... They just run out into bullets. The enemy is shooting at you. Why are you just running out there? Like, it's confusing. To the point of... I, I don't get it. I don't get it. You guys are going to have to explain that to me. Because I don't get it. But, you know... War is always going to be what it is. War, right? You know, and... It's just crazy to see. I didn't expect John Bernthal's character to die so quickly because I guess it's because we've gotten so used to, to him being a star now. You know what I'm saying? So to the point where you don't expect him to to die <laughs> during anything you're watching him in. But this was way back. I'm guessing, you know, way before he got super. Because, I mean, the Punisher made him super famous. To, in my opinion, I know he was on The Walking Dead and he was a very beloved character. I love this character on The Walking Dead um, season one, you know, so I mean, um, but I don't think The Walking Dead really put him on the map. I think The Punisher really put him on the map, 
you know what I'm saying, on a map map, like the Netflix series. So um, I know he had big roles before that, but it wasn't like, I, I don't know if that was his first, like, you know, like lead act acting role, like the Punisher. I don't know, because he wasn't the main character in The Walking Dead. It was more of a supporting character, but I love his character anyway. But um, when it comes on to just, I didn't, I, I just didn't expect him to die at least so early, you know. Um, so that was unexpected. But I love the way how dude just ran out. I don't know, I don't know these guys' names yet. I, I'm still trying to catch on to the name. But the dude that just ran out there was like, yo. I'm going to take this over. He deserves a medal for real. He needed to get recognized for what he did because he really took over and really took those, took over, you know what I'm saying? Leading those guys, you know what I'm saying? Getting them ammo, took, taking out those guys that were trying to flank him in the, in the, in the woods behind that was coming up behind him. Um, taking out those guys, no hesitation, ran out there to, to um to kind of push the pile over so that it can get a clear view of what's going on because the bodies were piling up um but i could be wrong i could be wrong i'm pretty sure that's what he went out there to do but <laughs> but any because i was asking what is he doing <laughs> you know but that was crazy but it still baffles me i don't understand how the japanese fought like that like that's i mean anybody would sense <laughs> You know, anybody with any good sense of would should know that that's not good for anyone. You know, I guess they thought they could overrun them, but they they don't have the intel. They don't know that they're, you know, low on ammo or whatever the situation is like. They don't know that. So them, that's just crazy to me. Anyways, you guys can let me know in the comment section what you thought of this, um, of how they fought and stuff like that. And it is is it's just it's amazing that they got off that with basically not a lot. They didn't lose a lot. I mean, cause as I said, they're not showing any details at the end, like Band of Brothers. So we don't know if they lost a lot of people there or not. Doesn't look like they did. You know what I'm saying? Because the the I think it was the captain that was saying that they don't have enough men. Um, so I don't know how many exactly were there. It seems like I want to say they had maybe like, you know what I'm saying? They weren't showing everybody, but I want to say maybe a hundred guys they had there or less. I don't know. So I, I don't know because I don't know the details to what's really going on right now. So you guys can let me know that if you get the opportunity to tell me that in the comment section let me know the details because i don't know the details and they're not telling me any details so i'm relying on you guys to kind of light up the comment section and let me know what's really going on but thank you guys so much for tuning in man uh, as always man um subscribe if you're new leave a comment in the comment section as i've said before and also leave a like thank you guys so much and i will see you guys for the next one peace